Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of May 2024. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. This is your bonus reading, not to be confused with the regular May readings that are already up on the channel. If you haven't seen them, go and check them out. So for today's read, we will be using the Steampunk Tarot deck. And... Um, so let's get started. They're already shuffled in and laid out here. We're going to start with your overall energy, which is the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. So Ten of Swords, to be reversed, it was once up, upright where something hit critical mass, where it was... Uh, you were at a situation, it could be for some of you with work, it could have been in a, a home relationship, could have been with neighbors, could have been with friends, anything like that. Something, it was just the last straw. That's what the Ten of Swords is at the up, in the upright position. This is where no more of this will be going on. I am not tolerating it anymore. With it inverted now, this is where the knives start to fall out and we are beginning to heal from a situation that really just you know bottomed out for us the crossing energy something that will be waning in and out throughout the month for you is the ace of cups in the upright position so this is the opening of the heart this can indicate new love because aces usher in some kind of new beginning it can be there is something new coming into your life in the month of may it could be someone new and for others of you, this could represent renewed love. So it could be that, say, in a relationship, things just sort of hit critical mass. And all of a sudden, it was like, okay, here we go. We're headed for breakup. But then something happens and um, it, you know, renews our heart. For others of you, it's unrelated to the Ten of Swords. This could represent something new is coming into your life or you're being offered something new from the universe. Now, the Ace of Swords is beautiful um, energy because it represents us starting to... It's the heart chakra, right? So this is starting to open up the heart chakra and accepting love in. It can represent any, anything from... Um, self-love to the love of uh, a pet. Maybe some of you are getting a new pet and it's just opening up your heart. For others of you, it could represent a new birth. It could be the a baby for some of you. Maybe some of you are having a child this month. Or it could be that you are uh, welcoming in a grandchild or something like that. Something in your life, it could be a beautiful opportunity, a creative opportunity to start something new. Now, the cups represents uh, spirituality as well as creativity. So it could be on any of those levels. Something is happening here. So make sure to let us know in the comment section below. You are coming into the month with another ace here. Oh, nice. Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. This is brand new starts in something that is being offered to you by the universe. Now, it could be a golden opportunity to invest in something. Um, it could represent a small inheritance coming your way. It can represent a really good job offer that's going to turn into something that will pay big dividends down the road. It could be an investment of property where you purchase something or you get something at a really good deal. Even maybe if you're looking for an apartment or something like that, it could be, wow, one comes on the market and you're like, I, I can't believe it. it's like a, a beautiful golden opportunity. You have two aces here. Something new, the month of May is going to usher in new uh, things for you. So fresh energy is coming in. I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> Moving into the middle of May, we do have the Five of Cups here in the upright position. The Five of Cups represents uh, sorrow, sadness, loss. This is like sort of really feeling bad about what has uh, has gone before us. So this could be anything representing a breakup with somebody or maybe somebody's moving away. That can cause Five of Cups energy. Maybe a close friend or somebody that you know, you're know you used to spending a lot of time with has all of a sudden decided to move away. That's the sorrow, the sadness, the loss. It could be the loss of a job. It could be the loss of um, 
anything really, a relationship or something like that. This is where we're looking at the two cups and sort of really feeling and being in the moment of the sadness and the sorrow and the loss. But that makes sense with the new energies, right? The ace is coming in here for you because, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. So it could be two doors are opening for you. And it just, it could be in the middle of the month. You're just very sad. It could be a friend, perhaps a friend or a family friend or, a fa you know, a friend of the families has, you know, maybe passed on, moved away or something like that. And could even be the loss of a pet. Like I said, it's, it's a general read. So it can represent a vast majority of things. So you're leaving the month with the hanged man in the reverse position. So this is about being ready to take action because you're no longer sitting on the fence about something. Hanged man in the upright position is where we are looking at things from a different perspective. We're just not sure what we think about something, what we want to do about something. But when it's reversed, this is where that sort of contemplation phase is over and we're ready to move forward. Um, also, too, it could be that you were hung up and suspended because of something else. It could have been you were waiting on another person to get back to you. It could have been you were waiting to hear from a, a job that you applied for or something like that, and it was stalled. But this is finally action being taken and things moving forward at the end of the month for you. Now, in closing, I will be pulling three cards from the Gypsy Oracle deck as well. Uh, an extra bonus to add to the bonus read. <laughs> and the three cards sometimes will um, elaborate on the spread that's already here. And sometimes it's about other things in addition too. So let's see what the three cards that Virgo gets. Okay, we have enemy. There could be an enemy amidst. <laughs> it could be an enemy. We have the Lord, which represents like a knight almost. And then we have the prison card, which is kind of like the Eight of Swords. So this is something, it could be for some of you, there is someone um, who is chained to a situation or something happens to them. Maybe that five of cups there represents somebody going to jail. Hopefully that's not the case, but let me know in the comment section if it is. It could be the, um, there is an enemy amidst, um, amidst you or maybe someone that you know like this lord could represent there is somebody who um, messes with somebody you know puts them in a situation of restriction so interesting stuff going on here just be careful with that energy it looks like it's not really pertaining too much to the the general read but it could be with that five of cups there i feel that it's the five of cups is not necessarily you uh, you know, ensuing this loss because you have so many other good cards here. I think it could be about somebody else, maybe feeling sad and sorrowful uh, about someone else that maybe ends up in a situation. So that's what I have for you, my dear Virgos. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, um, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful month of May and, uh, hope the reading helped. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Much love. Bye-bye.